Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. Today I'll be showing you how to make a pyrotechnic uh, mini reaction chamber. And what this is, it's my own um, uh, invention or device that I come up with. What it is, is a, uh, a reaction chamber where you can experiment with small um, fireworks, uh, little chemical reaction you want to see in class and you want to contain it in class so that it doesn't hurt anyone right and you want to also have a built-in uh, air ventilator so if there's smoke that's coming out it will be able to absorb that kind of smoke and also um, contain any sparks and all that may come out of the reaction make sure that the reaction shouldn't exceed more than whatever suggested here so about one or two grams of the chemical uh, needed to cause the reaction okay do not exceed it beyond that because like I said this chamber is small and uh, it's meant for um, observation for students to see. Be for example, uh, fireworks. Uh, you know the component of the fireworks, how it works, and all that. It's a good uh, demonstration in class. It's actually going to stimulate the class in chemistry and physics, and even generally in science. But all, again, even though it's in the chamber, you always should wear your safety glasses. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you what the material you need, and please follow all my safety advices that's uh, uh, listed um, on the. Uh, top here okay and we'll get started now okay so what you need is a container um, preferably use a glass thick uh, thick glass container now like I said I only use right now a plastic um, but I would recommend a heavy thick glasses for this one right but this is on sale it was like two bucks so I that's what I bought it for now the good thing about this container is that it has a lid that allows me to open and close okay easily like this and then the next thing that you need is ceramic uh, uh, cup or container which will fit snugly into the plastic uh, canister or container like that okay so what we're going to do is the reaction will occur in this ceramic okay not the plastic because you know if it's a some kind of chemical reaction that has very that has a lot of heat and and um, fire you want to um, contain it right so it it has to be ceramic which can handle high temperature so that's what I put in here as a surface okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put the chemical reaction uh, powder and all that here while when we set it up okay so that's and it close it's closed this way so you put the chemical in here you close it the next thing of course very important is if once the you know let's say there's a film that's built up you know air hot air is built up and there's a lot of fume uh, how do you actually make sure that it doesn't go into the classroom or at least the uh, smoke doesn't filter in the classroom? So what you want to do is get this thing called um, clean air device. It's actually used for uh, cat litters and uh, animal litters where um, you know it um, absorbs these stinky smells, right? So this is, I bought this around three bucks. You probably can get around uh, three or three, five bucks, right? So what it is is, is a fan. It has a built-in carbon filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a little hole, uh, drill a hole here where I'm going to place the fan on top of it, on top of the, the canister, the, the glass or plastic canister. And what's going to happen is it will, uh, when the reaction occur, the fan will um, suck in the, um, the smoke, right? So then there will be no smoke or um, toxic fume in class because Hopefully this um, uh, air filter will be able to absorb most of it. Okay, so let's look at this air filter uh, system. This is again from the cat litter system. Uh, it has a built-in uh, carbon filter, so to absorb the uh, the smoke and all that stuff that comes out of it. Okay, it's tiny as you can see. So you, again, like I like I said, the uh, reaction shouldn't be a couple of grams of uh, chemical reaction, so that this filter system can handle it. Right? There's a fan here. You can you know, pull the, uh, the air in and the filter through here. Um, this is an AC um, plug, so you can plug into the AC outlet. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drill a hole here and I'm going to put the, um, the fan air cleaner system on top of that. Okay, so you can see it's completed. Uh, you can see now this uh, filtering system is glued, hot glue to uh, the reaction chamber. All right, uh, you can open it so you can put the reaction chemical in here, close it, 
and uh, yeah it should suck up whatever smokes in there um, let's give it a try and see what happens now I would recommend using an, uh, a battery powered uh, system okay because like I said you know uh, you don't want to take any risk in uh, terms of any spark that might cause a electrical system to, uh, to ignite so my my recommendation is to use a battery power I'm going to hook up to my uh, battery power AC plug and there we go so it's working okay so now it's running on batteries uh, um, at least battery packed anyway system so you can this is very portable right? bring it to class for demonstration uh, you know a small class setting and there we go we can actually have a little chemical reaction and without worrying about any toxic film or any type of uh, spark that might come out of this uh, experiment alright like I said just use a very small amount of uh, chemicals uh, powder a couple grams and that's all you need and then you can show that to your class you might even want to install a camera so you can project to, to the projector so that you know, the class doesn't have to come here and watch you know they can actually view it from a camera to a projector You can see it did stop most of the, um, the smoke, but the mo smoke has to be contained, right? So you can see it's coming out, but um, come out slowly. Most of the smoke stays stays in there, but there is, as you can see, there's still some uh, smoke. But most of the smoke you see is all white in here. It's contained, and so is I fuse out, but still, it. Um, it filter most of the smoke so for small experiment like this it's quite good so I may you might want to put an elastic band around here so to keep the smoke to the minimum and the smell alright so I'm gonna do that right now okay last trial Perfect. Now I didn't hear any bang. I guess the uh, the um, the fireworks component that makes the sound didn't work. Yeah. 